The Starlink is set up. Hello, I'm Griffey, so I'm going to win in Here we look at everything, beekeeping farming, countryside living, how we do reviews as I know I'm in the office and the Starlink is up and running. This is a massive day for Gwyn and Griffith. We've actually got super fast internet for the first time ever. Now, the Starlink has been up and running for three days, something like that. It hasn't dropped once and it is super fast, so fast. Um, well, I, the only thing I can compare it to is what we had before, which was terrible. We had copper broadband in the house, which I think was 20 megabytes download and 0.2 upload. You know, you just could not upload any kind of video off the internet in the house. And then we had a separate, uh, I'll find it in a minute, a 4G dongle box which we run the office off. So the Starlink is there. That's the router. So in this video, I'm gonna show you our whole setup, how we run that Starlink. We run the shop with it and we use it in the house on one system. So I'll talk you through how this was set up. Now I'm in the office here. The Gwyn and Griffith office. Now we've got two computers in here and in the shop bit we've got the ipad which is the till now i didn't set the internet up i got the guys at the vet cctv in they came and installed the starlink for me and i'll show you we, we br we're bridging the internet from here into the house i'll show you how that works but since i'm here this was basically our internet up until now. I think it's a Huawei, Huawei box that uh, we were using through Vodafone. And to be fair, that was pretty good. I couldn't complain with the speed. Um, when I was uploading vi YouTube videos, I'd have to come up into the office, upload the videos here, not in the house, because uh, that 4G box could upload videos. Now, it did take a few hours for that to do, um, but you know, we were in business with that. The downside of that was we were paying basically, I think, £70 a month for the internet here and then maybe £40 for internet in the house. So, you know, we were paying over 100 quid for two sets of internet. None of them were brilliant. Now, why did we go to Starlink? Well, I'll tell you what, the 4G box was just unreliable. The internet would just cut off totally you have to go upstairs, turn turn it off, turn it back on, and then it'll reboot, and then you've got internet again. Now, uh, last week or the week before, I was on Lawrence Black Mountain Honey's uh, Zoom, well, not Zoom, uh, YouTube Live, and my internet actually cut out twice. It cut out, one, first of all, when I logged on, and you know, I couldn't do anything. You know, we weren't uh, logged on or anything live. We, we were just talking, me and Lawrence. So I turned the internet off then, come back on, and then midway through the live, the internet cut off totally again, and I lost internet for about 10 minutes before I could reset the system here and log back on, and I said there and then, right, we got to sort this internet out, it's no good. And turns out, Starlink is actually a cheaper option for us, because now we've got one internet, and it's powerful enough to do the shop and the house, so we're actually paying less money for Starlink, even though it's over a hundred times faster than what we're getting before. All right, let's show you uh, the nitty gritty of how it works. All right, so the Starlink is set up in the office. This is the router. You got cables going in, and then the cables going up into the roof, and I'll show you what's up there. Now, up in here, ignore this. This is the camera system. We've got uh, whatever that is, I don't know, but I think that's to do with the, the bridge and that's how it connects into the Starlink is via that. So I think that bit was extra. You plug it into there. There's wires running behind the walls out to a bridge. Uh, I'll take you there now so you know what that looks like and that's how we take the internet from you into the house wirelessly. But before I show you the bridge, that is the Starlink 
right there. Just on top of the shed, facing in. Now you may think we're getting, you know, the, the tree being there that we're not getting the internet, but look at this. There's not a red square. She's the starling. She's got full uh, satellite access, 100% internet where she's set up there. So very pleased with that. Hardly notice it's there. So yeah, so that's the Starlink which goes down into the router box, back up into the, I don't know what you call it, I'm not a, a tech guy, but into the, the start of the bridge. The cable goes from there, runs on the outside of the building or inside then out. Then it goes to that white thing. That sends the internet from there bounces it down right down to the house here totally wireless so there's no cables you don't have to dig up this concrete yard or nothing which i'm very pleased with i don't want to be hacking up my concrete and there's another bridge there cable goes through the attic out to the outside of the house, down, back into the house. And then we've got a, another router in the house which gives us internet in the house. Now, let's talk a little bit about the styling. That's how it's set up and I, no, I didn't set it up, the red CCTV set it up, but the Starlink itself is a plug and play option if you were just gonna run the Starlink in one building. We, we're running it in two buildings, so I wanted someone professional to come in and you know know what they were doing. Now let's look at the speed wise. We're getting really good speeds. I'm just gonna load it up on my phone here for me to be able to see. I've done some screenshots. So we're getting to the router, we're getting 225 Mbps. And then the speed test on the phone uh, through the Starlink app is 134 Mbps. Now, all that numbers means nothing to me, but I know it's fast and I know that's good because on the clock that goes round, it goes all the way round. So that must mean it's good. You know, I'm not an expert, but I'd say that's pretty good. Now, what I would say about the Starlink is, it's not failed at all. I'm really happy with it. I think the price of it is really good as well. They've actually got a, they had a deal at the minute for the hardware. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but I'll put that over the description here now. Um, it's something close to half price the hardware is right now. So if you're watching this video right now and you're thinking about doing Starlink, now is a good time to do it. Uh, the price may go back up later on. A lot of people told me that the router box, the range on that isn't the best, and that is true. Super strong in the office, but if I go to the other side of this building, then it doesn't pick it up. So a few walls, that does break um, you know, the, the, the signal down pretty fast. Uh, but here it doesn't matter because we only need internet right in the shop and right here on the till. And then there's a separate router in the house which is pretty powerful, that does the whole house. So that's how we've set it up. And I tell you what, I know it's really early days, we may have to do another video uh, to recap this, but I can't recommend Starlink enough at the minute. The speeds we're getting is just unbelievable. BT didn't want to know. We asked them multiple times, could we get broadband here? We run a business from here. They just weren't interested. They were never going to do it, even though they'd put cables or like the, the hollow, hollow tube cables right outside the road. When the engineer came here to put the BT line in, in the shop, he said that uh, they don't run fiber in those tubes anymore, so that whole system is kaput. And that's what we were up against. We just couldn't get uh, fast internet here, and luckily, a guy in America called Elon Musk, he's decided to get into the internet game, and because of his company, we've got super fast internet here, and it is unbelievable fast for the first time ever i'm going to upload a youtube video from the house not from the shop and for the first time ever 
we're gonna go live very very soon we'll do a live q a uh, i'm probably gonna get richard noel as well he'll be probably the first guest a good friend of mine uh, lawrence he'll probably come on as well um and I'll try to get as many B fam as, as I can to come on the lives with me and we'll do a bit of an interview and just a bit of a live Q&A, bring different people in uh, to the channel for you guys to get some info and knowledge and entertainment out of it. Something that we were unable to do up until this point. So, now just to say this, so we've got one internet system running two buildings. Now the Starlink can cope easily. We're up here working using the internet. The kids are streaming, say, Netflix in the house. So all that's been pulled off the one internet and it's still absolutely perfect. It's not slowing down, it's not dropping, it's not cutting out. So that kind of use, now that's all we've tested so far, is coping fantastically with that. So there's no risk of running one Starlink system in two buildings with the two buildings taken off it. It makes no difference to the speed or the power of it. Starlink is a big thumbs up from me. Uh, big thumbs up to Dove CCTV to do, for doing a fantastic job setting it up. And depending where you are, you can get a, a rural internet grant. Uh, I'm not sure what what's that called, but look in your area. Uh, we've had a grant to get the super fast internet here as well, which makes me think, why didn't we sort this out years ago? Uh, but we finally did it. Took took me to do. You know, Black Monday Honey is live for me to cut out, for me to actually do something about it. And, well, I'm very pleased we've done something about it now. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you're thinking about Starlink, it is definitely uh, recommended from me. See you at the next video.